Top of the morning to you. I've been working on this single that I'm getting ready to release at the end of the month, and it's getting ready for mix. I'm starting to do all the mix prep stuff that you do, and I've decided that I'm going to keep my drum samples that I used in the demo from Easy Drummer 3, and I've been faced with a challenge over the last few days of figuring out the best way to get those stems, those WAV files for each individual drum track into my session. So one, I can send those out to my collaborators who are putting some finishing touches on this song for me that don't have Easy Drummer 3 and need to be able to hear these drum parts. But two, that I could also pull those into that session and mix with those drums as if they were recorded in that drum room over there. And I have found uh, some information on how to do that with PreSonus's Studio One, with Logic Pro, but nothing specifically with Easy Drummer 3 and Pro Tools. So I thought, hey, let's make a video on it. If you're somebody who's using Pro Tools and Easy Drummer 3, this video is for you. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do, we're gonna turn around and get a session pulled up. I'm gonna walk you guys through Easy Drummer 3. I have a video that's pretty good. I'm gonna link, it'll be at the end of this video, one of those videos that are sitting here or here. Uh, for those of you who would like to watch that video, it seems to be getting a decent amount of traction lately. I've had actually some friends of mine who have started using Easy Drummer 3, unbeknownst to me, who found that video and like reached out to say they had no idea that I even had a YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. So. That's awesome, and I also want to say, off that, hey, if you're new to this channel and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on so you get notified when the videos come out. Drop me a comment, let me know what it is that you're into, where you are in the world, what kind of videos that you like, what your passions are as it relates to music and what drew you to this channel. And if at the end of the video, if you like the video, smash the like button for the algorithm. Do me a solid. All right, so, with that said, we're going to turn around, get a session pulled up. I'll walk you through some basics on Easy Drummer 3 in case some of you guys might be just getting started. Need somebody to kind of point you in the right direction, hopefully save you a little time, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. All right, follow me. All right, so we've got the session pulled up. Again, this is the good life. And you can see I've got Easy Drummer pulled up here, and this is what it looks like. But I'm going to show you, if before you get to this step, if you're just getting started, what you're going to want to do. Uh, but I, I do want to reference that when I'm building out these drum parts, and you can see all of these blocks down here represent, this is a count in, uh, these are fills, intro fills, into uh, verses, choruses, everything can be color coordinated in here, so they're easy for you to find. I do recommend if you're doing this, first thing you're going to want to do is put some markers within your session, so you get your demo done if you're playing an acoustic guitar, or you're playing you know, any kind of guitar, piano, whatever it is, set your markers in here because that'll allow you to track this within Easy Drummers. You're building these blocks and quickly get to where you need to be. If you get to the chorus part, you're trying to work on your chorus one. It's easy to find right here. It's gonna be your friend. Set this up, stretch it out as much as you can to make it fit in the window where you can quickly work. Right now we're on the mix window and that'll be critical when we start talking about uh, getting these stems and these wave files out of here. But uh, just as a quick walkthrough, these are all your, this is what the drum kit looks like. If you're, so you can hear that. I'm gonna put some these cans on so I can hear what's going on. So as we're looking at this, you can see that this is the drum kit. And we can go to the groove section. And as you're doing like tap to find, all right, so let's stop for a second. And basically what this is, is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna, you can either use um, a MIDI controller to do this, or you could just go in with your mouse and 
hit your drum, hit the kick drum, snare drum. When I'm doing this, I'm typically just starting with a really archaic basic beat. So it could be kick, snare, maybe I'll add in some hi-hat or some ride, depending on which part it is. And then I'm gonna record that groove. And then I'm gonna click search. It's gonna pull up a percentage you can see here of uh, from my reference groove that I gave it. It's gonna pull up a percentage of how close all of the expansion packs, all the different grooves I have are to the reference groove. And then I can click and drag those down into my timeline down here. And these again are gonna reflect the measures within the song. And you're just gonna start building these things out. Now there's a lot of different stuff you can do. I don't wanna go way into uh, the song creator and all this stuff. I'm gonna link this other video. I, I recommend that you watch that for all of that. I just wanna give you guys a peripheral look at how you get started with this. But then you have the grid editor and you can go in here and make uh, really detailed changes to all of the parts that you're building out. You go into the mixer and you're able to adjust all of the levels of the drums that are in here as you're recording those things. They also has a bandmate feature. What you'll do here is if you have uh, maybe just a real basic uh, instrument demo, maybe you've played piano and sang on a demo that you have that's relatively in time, maybe it's a guitar demo, you can just click and drag that WAV file into this box here, and it's going to use the algorithm and look at the waveforms, and it's gonna pick out the closest things, the best parts that it thinks for your song and give you a starting place. So again, this is just gonna give you a starting place to get started, you can, add additional tracks. If you got this part and you go, I really like this, but I wanna try something a little different, you can go in here and create a second track that'll be completely different to kind of bounce back and forth and see which ones you like more. Um, but that's how that works. And if you're starting from scratch and you're not sure how to even get this set up, what you're gonna to wanna to do is once you have a Pro Tools session pulled up, you're gonna to wanna to create a new track and you're gonna to wanna to do a stereo not mono, stereo instrument track. And you're not, I, I think probably a lot of our instincts because this is uh, using MIDI is gonna be to choose a MIDI track, but you don't wanna choose a MIDI track, you wanna do a stereo instrument track. And then once you have that stereo instrument track, you're gonna go here and insert on a multi-channel plugin, because this is, you can go to your instruments and you'll see Easy Drummer 3. It's that easy. And then from there, you can start building this out and then it's going to basically use this as a host where it's not leaving it in your session, but you can bounce from this where the drums will be in there. The challenge that you're gonna have is if you're sending this to someone who doesn't have Easy Drummer 3, then they're not gonna hear the drums because the drums aren't in the session. They're hosted in the plugin. And if they don't have the plugin, well, they're not gonna have the drums. And even if they have the plugin, they're not gonna have your drum tracks more than likely. Maybe they will. Um, but what you're gonna wanna do here, you have a couple of options of what you can do. What you can do is we'll close that out. We're not gonna need this. So I'm gonna delete this track. What you could do is pull up Easy Drummer and you could just take See if we can get this. Oh. Scale down to where. You could just click and drag all of these. There we go. Boom. And then, as you can see, what it's going to do is just give you a MIDI track of all the drums lined out across the board. And that'll at least get you going. That's a, a really easy fix to. Uh, you have to click and drag though. You can't uh, do shift all and copy and paste in here. So that's a hot tip. Click and drag that in there. That'll get you going. But I recommend what you do. Once you build your part out and you know that it's exactly how you want it, you're gonna go in here into your mixer window. And you're gonna notice down here, the outputs of every one of these channels are one and two. And if you click track, go down to export song, ex export, export song uh, as audio files. It's gonna give you some options. You can do the full mix, which will be very similar to how it was with the, uh, with the MIDI, where it's got all the parts on one track. But if you want stems, you can see it's going to default to 
your kick, one shot, shaker, tambourine, percussion, ambiance, all going to channels one and two. Snare, three and four, hi-hat, seven and eight, toms, overheads, as you can see on here. And normal is going to be 16-bit, and this gives you an opportunity to uh, name whatever you, those songs are. All right, so what we're going to do, cancel out of that. We don't want our shaker and all of our hand percussion on the kick track, because once we import those things into the session, I want the kick track to just have kick on it. So I'm going to go kick. It's going to go outputs one and two. These are all stereo outputs. Go snare three and four. Our hi-hats will go five and six. Toms will go seven and eight. And it's going to be left and right toms. It's not really a whole lot of toms in this song. But for our overheads, I'm going to go back and put the overheads with the hi-hats. So that'll be uh, just all of our cymbals. So we'll go five and six for the overheads. And we'll go nine and ten for our uh, ambiance. 11, 12 for reverb. And then all of our hand percussion. It's gonna go 13 and 14. And you could choose none, right? So none, we got shaker in here. We'll go none here. And then percussion output will go 15, 16. So that's gonna give us eight total channels. All right, so now that we've got all the routing for our output set up on here, we're gonna go back to track export song as audio files and you can see we have the kick going in one and two snare going in three and four our hi-hats and overheads in five and six toms in seven and eight ambiance in the nine and ten reverb 11 and 12 13 and 14 has got our shaker and then the ambiance the amount of presence for the shaker 15 and 16 it's going to default to 16 bit i'm recording at 48 24 so I'm gonna set this to 24 bit. We'll name this song, The Good Life. I'm gonna click export. You can see I've already created a folder within the session folder that is Easy Drummer 3 Stems. So then we're just gonna click that. And it's going to render this. It's just bouncing these WAV files down and creating stems for us. Once that does its thing, we will come back and uh, import those into our session. Now would be a great time to go get something to drink or use, uh, use the bathroom if you are so inclined. All right, you can see our export has finished. We have two options. Click OK. That's going to close this window. We can also show files in Finder. And then you'll see, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there. We'll click okay. We have two options. We could um, create the, uh, we could go control, boom. We could make eight new tracks and drag these in individually one at a time. That's one way of doing it. It's kind of the long way around. What we're gonna do instead of that is we're gonna go, go to file import audio and then you can see here easy drummer three stems you may have to look this up i've already done this over so this it's already pulling this up but you're going to go down and you're going to click all of these and we're going to add all of them and then we're just going to open them and that's going to ask us how we want to do it do we want to add these to our clip list or new tracks we want new tracks Location is at the start of the session, so the session start. And there are our drum tracks. So let's just take a listen to it, make sure everything's lining up. I'm going to mute uh, the Easy Drummer 3 uh, instrument track where we built the parts out so that that's not doubling what we're hearing. And it's our count in. May want to put the click in here with it. Everything's looking good. Grab 
crashing waves. All right. So everything's lining up. So the last thing that I'm going to do, well, I'm probably going to rename each one of these tracks uh, instead of uh, these abbreviations. We're just going to call it kick, snare, you know, that. But more importantly, what I want to do is change the outputs of these. So I have a drum bus on here, and I want to make sure that all these are going to the drum bus. So we are just going to go um, option shift, which is going to everything that's highlighted. It's going to, this is going to impact all those. We're going to option shift, get our bus. It's going to get to our drums. And there you go. Everything is filtering out into our drum bus, which is over here. We can see that we're getting the level. we go. Case closed. All right, I hope this has been helpful. I know some of this seems straightforward, but it's not that straightforward in that it's not in the manual for Easy Drummer 3, and there's not a lot out there as it relates to Easy Drummer 3 and Pro Tools and how to get these multi-tracks in your sessions. So if you've got a better way of doing this, if you know another way of doing it, uh, please drop us a comment. Let us know what uh, school us up on how you do things. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I want to ask you once again, click that subscribe button, turn your notifications on so you get notified uh, when these videos come out. If you made it to the end of this video, I'm going to ask you to hit that like button and help us with this algorithm. And uh, drop us a comment. Let us know what's up, what you thought about the video. If you have any other questions, that'd be a great place to put them too. Until next time, I'm Justin Brogdon. You guys keep doubling down, keep chasing your dreams, following your passions, and showing up for yourself. We, we're going to be seeing you in the next one. Peace. Time to take a break from all the hurt.